And 18 man brackets on average, 18 to 20. Like yeah. when we were hitting 20 to 21, that oh, was like our nice. peak numbers. Yeah. We're at over 30 today. Wow, okay, so yeah, I'm just coming together. That's fantastic. I, I mean, personally, I see this and I first heard of Smash from a guy who used to play League and he, he went away and he started going to play Smash competitively. I'm like, well, what's that? And then, Come to find out, like now everyone's moving to it as an actual. Well, I hate like, to cut you off mid story there. Yes, we'll get sorry. back into that in a moment. But we are getting into the losers round three match between Robert and Summer Heat. Summer Heat. Summer Heat. Now, this is really exciting. As you were saying earlier, Summer Heat barely scraped into the top 16 through the uh, tiebreaker. Right, the elimination. He won both his elimination rounds. So he got the, the 15th seed. Yes, he did. And, uh, which was really important because the 16th played um, did it. Right. He probably wouldn't have gotten in. Yep. But uh, coming this far. Well, he still would have been. I mean, he would have ended up in losing bracket either way. But he's looking really right. solid right now. And one of the cool things about Summer Heat is Summer Heat's been a regular here for a long time. He's been our like, sailing smash vs Yoshi player, but he's always been on this level that's like slightly below the top players. Like it was sort of like we always expected to see him. Up there, but not up there with like the top, top, the cream of the crop right. of Salem. Bro Bear being oh, look at that. Bro Bear being the cream of the crop of Salem. Right. Today he... in Swiss, Summer Heat upset Bro Bear in a two-one set and won. So I, I saw that. that was fantastic. Yes, it was incredibly hype. It had it actually had one of the biggest crowds of any set today. Yeah. Just because everyone knows Summer Heat's been improving so much lately, and it was it was a big upset for everyone to come watch. Absolutely, and you know. The, the look on Bro Bear's face when he said it all—it's kind of like I knew this was happening. I knew this was gonna come something. It's just like some of he's just been. He's right. Been on I'm gonna say this on the quiet. Move down left. I'm gonna talk about that move. This move right here, heavy egg roll. It's custom issues working with in a moment. Before I do that, I just want to say, Bro Bear picks up the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. But um, even before that, I just want to say like you know, Travis has been improving. For a while now, and it's, it's gotten to the point where it's scary. Like when you come up against Travis, he's a good player. Travis being Summer Heat, I'm sorry. When you come up against Summer Heat, you have to you have to stop and you have to get in the zone. You have to get really good to get this guy because you can't just wing it against him anymore. Hmm. That's definitely. And Bro Bear is struggling. Uh, you know, Summer Heat got the first kill. He's had the lead. Bro Bear did get the first kill, but you know. Yeah, but that egg is really hard to deal with. It's one of the best projectiles in the game. And a nice grab on Yoshi's part. Wow. And, you know, he just makes it so hard to get punished with that jab like that. It just comes out instantly. It's like there was a little bit of landing lag. Did yeah. Broberry pick up on it? No, that jab stopped him. Oh, look at that. And Summer Heat takes game one. Very Summer convincing Heat. all over the place. But Summer Heat is not someone to sleep on. No, not. not anymore. No. That was, that was extremely convincing. And... The Yoshi is just, no one else here, I mean, people play Yoshi, but no one here plays Yoshi at that level. Nope. That's just, He's the best Yoshi else. around now. Probably the best Yoshi in the state that I'm aware of. Yeah, it, it's kind of hard, because how do you play against something that no one really plays? Mm -hmm. Well, this is our chance. That's why we have these tournaments, is to come here and get experience against each other. Exactly. And to win. And show off. <laughs> and get pizza. Yep. Sorry for tuning into the mic again. I'm almost done. Many apologies. All right, but now, I want to talk about this move, Heavy Able, that is where he uses. And I want to say quiet enough where I don't get to very nice. Because I don't want to be, I don't want to impart that knowledge in mid match. I feel like that's unfair. It's something he has to learn. Well, Robe picks up a crazy game. Nice. So this match is looking very different than the last one. Absolutely. Alright, anyways. The thing about Heavy Eagle is it's actually a bad move, but it just seems really scary at first. Because it, the things that conventional egg roll beats, or that beat conventional egg roll don't work on it, you can't run up and grab it unless you're a tether character, which actually ZSS is. But because it hits you during, during the mid grab and it, and it hits you really hard, it's actually a kill move in a hyper sense. Even when it's rolling really slowly, it'll just kind of like touch you and you just like blow up and you're like, what the hell? But um, the way you beat it is you don't throw attacks at it. You can, but that's not the way to beat it. The way to beat it is just shield it. And when it when you when it lands on shield, its hitbox goes away for a, a good number of frames, and then you can grab after shielding one hit of it. And once you do that, that move becomes terrible. Because no one's used to some of these moves. So it happens, but the gimp between the gimp and the ZSS yeah. combo. Obviously Robert figured something out there and it 
clearly got that one on some heat. So this is another hype set going to game three. Let's see if it's a repeat of Swiss or if Bro Bear can hold on to his title as the number one PR player in Salem and the number nine PR player in all of Oregon. Wow. It's a great title and it's something I'm sure he's If the Oregon and PR had updated more recently, he'd be higher than nine. Let me just, let me just let you know that, yeah. He's done so, some really great things. Well, absolutely, we're coming to this Officially, one. he's the ninth best player in Oregon right now, but <laughs> he's better and people know it. Well, yeah, I mean... Oh, and he's struggling with the heavy yeah. eight Oregon. Kind of plays right into that one. <laughs> going to do the percentage of this one. I think this one we have to like gimp again on. Yep, that that's one. definitely something he wants. Right. Wow, and Yoshi's from jab one actually planking with a zero suit. No! Wow. That's out of there. Yeah. Robert has found something that's working here. Yep, he got that. Nice read. Yep. Um, they, well, it's that combo. Once you get that, once you get that up air, it's actually a true combo if, if the DI is tracked properly. Summer Heat's having trouble getting out of the combo once it started. But you know, if you get hit by those two up airs, if Zero Suit's in the right place, you can just up B and that's stock. And that's a huge part of why Zero Suit Samus is considered such a great character in this game. That one would be a combo. Alright, we're in the heavy A world. Let's see what Robert does. He just chills on the platform. Not the worst option when you don't know how to do it. No, absolutely not. Yep. Uh, definitely no. Robert, the self admitted one trick pony, really has a mastery of his pony. Yes. Um, so, I was noticing earlier, and this was really weird to me. Jab one of Yoshi's jab clanked with Zero Suit's forward smash, and that's insane to me. Yoshi has such high priority on his moves for like the amount of mobility and super armor and like speed and lack of like everything. Like he's just got a lot of really really good properties as a character. And there is Summer Heat air dodges through the boost kick, knows it's coming this time, and the you know the combo wasn't in its frame perfect state where it's like a combo. So he air dodged right through, and he just was like, you know what? Up air punishing that because you know once Bro Bear misses that boost kick, he's super good. Absolutely, I, I mean it's so high already. Yeah, and he's he's vulnerable, like yeah. yeah that's absolutely and Yoshi's up air is just a legit regular good killing move in general, anyways. Definitely, we see some soft little play coming out through here. I mean, I've seen uh, some adapt throughout this matchup. The first the first game obviously extremely convincing, and now in the second one, kind of made some mistakes, but now he's really playing to Robert. Yes, and while Robert does have the lead, by a reasonable amount of percent, uh, he's not making it easy for him. Oh my god! Right. Nope. Oh. Wow, he actually gets the punish for the heavy A roll. It looks like uh, somebody's not going to be able to rely on that move as much anymore. Yeah, definitely. At least definitely. not when there's platforms. Alright, we're getting a little bit of a projectile stall war here. No one wants to approach across this broken, teetering, very scary looking bridge. It is, I, every time this, it goes to that particular one, I always kind of go, ugh. Yeah, yeah, right? It's like, it seems like the kind of place where if you were like Bowser or something, you wouldn't want to use your down B. <laughs> exactly, you'd just be like, <laughs> probably just like everyone dies. <laughs> oh, but the boost kick! Will Summer Heat be able to DI it? Yes! Wow! Go Summer Heat! Oh. Oh! And he drops down, but the boat runs him over. We got, we got the woohoo finisher. Well, I'm not really sure now. Did Robert win that game or did Woohoo? All I can say is the dinosaur gets run over by a motorboat. Regardless, Robert wins the set. Yes, he does.